hi guys welcome to my channel i am Golaon. in today's video i'll be sharing the latest update on the lagos rail mass transit with you guys specifically the lagos red line rail updates recently the lagos state governor went to china where he was engaged in a high level meeting with the president and management of the china civil engineering construction corporation ccecc at its headquarters in beijing some of the discussions in the meeting ranges from the ongoing completion of the second phase of the Blue Line Rail from Maitu to Okokomaiko within the period of two and a half years. You can click the link above to watch the update on the ongoing construction of the second phase of the Lagos Blue Line Rail project. Discussion also involved strong commitment to the fourth Milan Bridge project groundbreaking and construction in phases. Note, the Lagos state government already set the groundbreaking for within March and April 2024. Discussions were also involved on the completion and commissioning of the Red Line Rail project, which the governor said it should be commissioned by the end of February 2024 by the president. As discussion involves purchasing of more rolling stocks for both the Blue Line Rail and the Red Line Rail. Our focus in this video will be mainly on the rail project, most especially the first phase of the Red Line Rail, which the governor said will be flagged off in the last week of February 2024 by the president. <laughs> La machine of the railway to red line. That's the Kedja. Oloriwa, President Wa, President Bola, Ahmed Tinubu, what is of one way on Amaba Washi, you don't know long. The governor already confirmed the purchase of additional rolling stock. The governor on his ex handle on the 5th of February at around 6 25 pm Nigerian time. Posted and I quote from his ex Andrew Trends checked, production specification finalized, payments made, and delivery dates from Dalian, China to Lagos, Nigeria confirmed. Joint maintenance agreements as well as knowledge and skills transferred to be finalized with the team. Boasting over 100 years of manufacturing experience, making them one of the foremost and well known train manufacturers in the world. We are genuinely excited about this development as Lagos anticipates and deserves excellence, connectivity and modern technology in infrastructural development. I express my gratitude to the team for their commitment to this partnership and we eagerly anticipate further collaborations. End of quote. We are at um, Berlin, um CRRC um, train manufacturing plant. They are manufacturers for uh, the existing um, blue line trains and we've also come here to further other new rolling stock of both the red line and additional rolling stock for the blue line. Uh, A train is not something you just buy off yourself. We're not as lucky as when we were with Milwaukee, which was produced you know, for a particular city, but we had to just pay the premium and take it off. It usually takes between two to three years, you know, for you to to finish the mantle because each one of them has its own specification, right? But we're lucky that um, we've agreed with them. They've done the blue line before, so in less than a year, right? We're, we're going to still have a tough discussion with them before the end of the year. We're expecting that some of the stocks will start coming in and lead that the, the, the final bit to come in um, early next year. But, but, but we're ready for that.
the update of all the red line train stations with you guys some months back from the Oimbo train station to Agbado train station and also the overpass bridges. From the last update, only the Mushi overpass is still under construction as the Oimbo, Jaba, Ikeja and Agege overpass bridges have been completed and commissioned. The completed and commissioned bridges are already open for public use. The only overpass left is Mushi and I will be taking you guys to the site to see the present situation there. So guys, here is the present situation at the Mushi Overpass Bridge construction as at the second week of February 2024. The Mushi Overpass will help link vehicles coming in and out of Mushi through Olosha, Ogumokun, Kayode Street to Onyekman. Now let's take a look at the train stations. When I did an update on the train stations from Onyibu to Agbado, the only stations where a lot of construction were still ongoing was the Yaba station and the Agbado train station. The Onyibu, Mushi, Oshodi, Ikeja, Agege and Iju train stations were almost complete with little or nothing to do in some of those train stations. I'll drop a link above to watch the video I made on all the train stations as at then. Now, let's go to the Yaba and Agbado to also see the current state of construction at both stations. I don't see the Agbado station being completed by the time the red line will be flagged off according to the date given by the governor. Okay. Oja, 
But one thing I would like to say is that the project being commissioned doesn't mean it is fully completed. Just like in the case of the Blue Line Wheel, after commissioning, it went through test run, which is what will happen in the case of the Red Line also. Test running of the infrastructure will take between 3 to 6 months. During this period, Agbado train station should be completed. It is after the test running and everything is in order before the red line will start commercial operations. As at this moment, the red line Tago trains has undergone retrofitting to be used as mass transit and testing of the train have started as the train travels on its track from Oindu to Agbado. Whoa.